Hi, I'm Steve Marchena, and this is my musical life history in five minutes or less. My mother, she was a hippie, and I was in an environment with uh, lots of rock music. She would play guitar and sing and play harmonica. When I was three years old, my biological mother died and my grandparents adopted me. My grandmother that became my mother started me on piano lessons. I was really immersed in classical music at that point. My dad worked for Bose Corporation and he always had the, the latest gear. My grandparents were already obsessed with music uh, before they lost their daughter. And when they did, they became even more obsessed with music. That's how I was raised. My parents that adopted me were telling me stuff when I was three years old that was pretty advanced about music. And I was playing violin. After violin, I played clarinet. Started listening to Led Zeppelin and I knew I needed to play guitar. When I was 15, first rock concert I went to was Aerosmith and Yngwie Malmsteen opened up for that concert. So I thought, oh, this is how you play guitar in concert. And not taking anything away from Joe Perry, but when Aerosmith came on, I thought, why is he playing so slow and sloppy? Hey, I was 15, that's what I thought. By the time I was 16, I was playing in lots of bands and performances. I was 17, I finished high school, started gigging a lot and teaching guitar lessons. When I was 18, uh, I was getting into slide guitar, and I remember my aunt took me to see the Juilliard String Quartet, and I was thinking, oh, I shouldn't play classical guitar anymore, I'll just focus on slide. And then I heard the Juilliard String Quartet, I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta play classical music. I was 19, released my first album with this group, Sex and Witchcraft, that's important because I've actually released about 40 albums, 29 of which are still available. When I was 21 years old, I decided I'm going to only play classical guitar. Uh, that didn't last, though. I, I loved playing other styles. I was in a house band on a cable TV show. And I decided oh, I'm only going to play Robert Johnson style music. Didn't last. I knew I needed to play other styles. Started playing in a lot of different uh, musicals and orchestra pits. I had entered guitar competitions before then. I did a guitar competition. I came in second place. I went to the Berkeley Guitar Week. And when I was 26, I started Berkeley and majored in guitar performance and the Boston Conservatory. I also started a, a duo uh, with one of my old teachers. John Mason, and we were performing doing classical guitar duos. I graduated magna cum laude from Berkeley, guitar performance major in 2000. I also put together an instrumental rock group. Ultimately, we released about four albums. We went on a, a tour of uh, Canada all the way to the West Coast, and I put together a guitar uh, trio with two of my former teachers, John Mason, who I mentioned I was playing duos with, and David Newsom, who's taught at Berkeley now for a long time. We opened up for Aldi Miola, we did a European tour and master classes, released a couple albums, did some stuff for WCRB. I should mention right now too, all my life there have been forces that have made me want to decide to play one style of guitar over the other. And to those forces, I say, I'm not gonna do it. I love playing all styles of music. In that spirit, I was a Guitar Armageddon finalist and then opened up for Nuno Betancourt and Jay Giles. There were gigs with the Boston Modern Orchestra Project and the Metropolitan Chorale. I was doing some touring with uh, Valerie Sneed. It was this group Alien Black. A bass player from Megadeth had been on the album and I played in a group that uh, performed at Gillette Stadium at a party for Bob Kraft. You know, after that, there was several tours, the Space Machine Tour, the Buzz Tour, several solo tours. In 2007 and 2008, I taught at Berkeley during the Summer Guitar Week program. There was this group, Superbug, and we performed Dark Side of the Moon live in its entirety. And we also got some commercial airplay for a couple original albums that we released. I was doing some touring with a guy, Tim Janis, who um, he worked with Paul McCartney. I was about to leave on a tour that was going to Carnegie Hall. I got peritonitis, which meant that my colon exploded and I was not able to go on that tour. But I started teaching at Bentley University, artist in residence and teaching classes and private lessons there. I won the Outstanding Arts Instructor Award. I was doing a lot more musicals, uh, including at the Schubert Theater. I put together an orchestra called Tal's Top, doing acoustic Led Zeppelin material. Put together this presentation, the history of guitar styles, where I started doing this thing, Guitarioke, with John Finn, who also teaches at Berkeley. Every month, uh, I got to prepare some music to perform with him, as well as organizing everything. Um, performed the complete works of Robert Johnson. We played all 29 Robert Johnson songs. I got an endorsement with Ortega Guitars. That's one of the best things that's ever happened to me because they make great instruments and they've given me a lot of free instruments. And I started uh, Berkeley Online here about a year and a half ago. 